What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna be checking out the Backflip F1 hard tonneau cover on our 2022 Ford F-250 Super Duty. That's gonna be a hard tonneau cover, so it's not one of those soft ones. It's got the fiberglass here with the core and then the aluminum rails on the outside. You even got weather strips all around it. As you can see, it's gonna hold up just fine. It can hold up to 400 pounds evenly distributed. So I wouldn't go testing that too much, but if you are gonna set a cooler or something on here, when you go to open the back tailgate, you can do that and it's fine. Now, I like that these have the quad fold up design just because you can go panel by panel, opening it up, and then it gives you full bed access if you need it. It's not one of the ones that retract into a canister down here that takes up some of your bed. This doesn't eat up your bed at all. So I really like that. And this is gonna also last a little bit longer in the soft tunnel covers because sometimes those can just have a few poles in between there. So when it rains or snows, it's gonna hold down on that and like make that go down over time. This is gonna hold up a lot longer to the elements. So how the tunnel cover works is I'll lower the tailgate and show you. We got the pull handle here. It's gonna be for each section. So that, you pull that, you can fold it up like I was talking about onto itself. Right here, it won't lift up anymore. So you can reach in, pull that. Get this section to come up as well. And when we get to the cab, there's one more. And look, you got the bumpers here too, so that when I pull this and fold it up on the glass, it's not gonna damage anything. Now, the nice thing about this is if you wanna keep it up there to have that full bed access like I've been talking about, you can slide that bracket down, tighten that knob, and you can drive around with it like this up and out of the way. Just make sure you put these up on both sides. Another way you can travel with it is with it folded down like this, just make sure you make those clips go in just for extra safety and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Insulation isn't that bad. You don't have to drill any holes. You, I did have to drill holes through the caps at the bottom of the bed just for the drainage tube. That wasn't so bad though. Otherwise, it's three clamps holding up each rail on each side. It's pretty easy. Check out how we did it. First thing we want to do is get some rubbing alcohol and clean off our bulkhead up here because we're going to put a weather strip on because we don't have a drop-in bed liner. If you have a drop-in bed liner, you don't need to put it. But since we do not have one, we're just going to clean this off and using the rubbing alcohol just to make sure it's nice and clean so that that adhesive is going to stick. So we're going to take the adhesive off and then attach this right about there. That's where we want it. Try and keep it nice and straight as we rip the cover off and the adhesive attaches to the bed. Now it's probably going to be longer than the bed so you're going to have to cut what's left over and we'll do that here when we get to the end. You can come back here and I'll cut it to length and then push the rest down. Now we're ready to set our side rails here on the side of our bed. Make sure you push it as much forward as you can. The silver piece goes up towards the front. So we're going to push that as forward as we can. And then we're going to add our clamp. So this part might be good to have a second set of hands to help you hold the rail up there while you attach the clamp. I think I can do it with one hand here to at least get the first one started to help me hold it in there. Now, while you're doing this, when you go to put the clamp on there, you're going to want to put it up underneath the bed right there so that it's gripping in and you want to push it up as high as it can go before you start tightening it. So we're going to put our clamp on here and make sure the back side goes on the back side of the rail and the front side is going to go on our new rail that we put on top. Now we're gonna take our clamp and put it into place. It needs to be about six to nine inches away from the front here. So we already measured out the other side, so I'm just matching this one up. You wanna push this, make sure it's loose enough for the clamp to separate. So we're gonna go on both sides. We're gonna go behind the bed rail and then behind our tonneau cover rail here too. So that looks like in the about right position. We'll go ahead and tighten that down so that rail stays in place. Holding this in place with the clamp pushed all the way up. I'm going to start to tighten it down. I'm going to get a couple turns and I can get my hand out of the way so you can have a better idea of what's going on. There we go. Now it's clamped on there. I'm going to make sure you push down on the rail here so that it sits flush with the bed. I'm actually going to need to twist it up a little bit as I tighten it down, so I can do it this way. 
And we're not gonna tighten it all the way yet, but just enough to help us hold that rail and go and add the other two clamps. Now this one's more towards the center. You can tighten that clamp up. Make sure this stays down too. And again, don't tighten it too much yet. We still wanna add our last clamp. We're gonna add our last clamp. It needs to be six inches from the tailgate, which I've already measured out. So that's gonna be right there. And just like before, make sure the clamp goes all the way up and then you tighten it down. Now with all three clamps loosely installed, enough to hold the rail on, you can go back and snug them down. In this part, you'll need a second set of hands. Jordan's gonna help me lift this up and set this towards the front of our truck. We're gonna drop into place right about here. Thank you. Now we're gonna put our clip in place. Now you can do that before that you lift the cover and put it on the truck bed, but we can do it now too, it's just as easy. So we're gonna line up this clip, make sure it's facing this way towards the back. And then we're gonna use this insert here underneath. Go up through the holes that are already pre-drilled in your tonneau cover. Now, if the holes are slightly off, you might have to drill them out with the drill. We had to do that on the other side. Didn't quite line up like we wanted to, but looks like it's just fine. So I push that in underneath. Now we can add our screw in up top with a screwdriver. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other one. With the hard cover set on top, I'm gonna to make sure this lines up. We want the seal to be at the top of the bulkhead. We're good there. So what I'm gonna do is peel this off so we can attach it to here. So we're gonna, what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go underneath. I'm gonna drop this bolt through. It's gonna go through this hole. You see I removed that back sticker on there to get it out of the way. So now this hole lines up with that bracket push that down in there and I'm gonna go underneath and add all the hardware. All right, now we're gonna add our two rubber washers, our regular washer and our lock nut up here on the underside of the bolt. I have a second set of hands. Zach's gonna push down on that bolt to help keep it in the place. It just makes it easier overall to put all these washers on there. And then once you got those on there, you can start threading in the hand knob. And get it started. It might help you to push up on this bracket just a little bit to get more of that bolt through. And as you tighten this, it's gonna pull that bolt down and the cover on this bracket. Now with those knobs loosely tightened, we're gonna go ahead and unfold the whole tonneau cover. Making sure it latches in evenly on both sides. If it doesn't, or it seems like it's bulging on one side, you can shift this back and forth to help it out. Looks like it's fine. Make sure it sits in there all the way to the end. Now we're gonna close the tailgate to make sure that works too. Now we shut that tailgate and see if there is no gap between the tailgate and the cover. If there is a gap, you can go up front, loosen those hand knobs and shift the whole tie cover back. Now that we know that this is set up right and everything's good, we're gonna fold it back up towards the front and tighten those hand knobs back down. We'll go to about here, then I'll hop under there and finish tightening those down. Now we're gonna to wanna to attach our drain tube right there to the spout that's right here on the underside of our rails. So that part goes up there. And the next part we're gonna to have to put down through here. So what I did was pop out this cover with a screwdriver. And we're gonna drill a hole in there to run this tube through this so I can put this back in place and it looks a little neater. With our cover removed, I'm gonna bring over here on the cart. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole first. and then come back with a step bit and go the rest. So that says up to seven eighths of an inch is what we're aiming for to get the hose through there and try and keep it look as neat as, as possible. Now with this in place, you can use that pilot hole and then draw out the rest. that done looks pretty clean we can go put the hose in now we're gonna put our cap back on make sure you get that fed in there right 
Make sure it gets pushed all the way back through, and then you can put your hose in. Just like that. Our next step is gonna be cleaning off the back of our cover here, because what we're gonna do is add some bumpers so when it leans up against the glass, you don't just have the metal against the glass. So I got the towels and the rubbing alcohol again. I'm just gonna go all the way down here, clean that off. That way the adhesive sticks properly. So what I would do is peel back the cover on our adhesive. It's gonna be this red piece here. Just peel that back. And we're gonna go right about here, I think. Push that down. And then we'll add another one to the center and another one to the passenger side. Now with all three of the bumpers installed, don't pull it, let's give it a test. Make sure the bumpers hit and it looks good. Now it's not full on hitting on the side ones, just portions of it, but the middle one is doing most of the work holding it and keeping it from just hitting that glass. Now it says in the instructions to attach our prop rod. Ours is already attached, so if yours is, great. If not, it's as easy as just pushing it on this tab right here and then moving the metal piece to lock it into place. Then the other thing is gonna be adding the clip that holds the prop rod when it's not in use. And all we're gonna do is clip it here underneath the rail and then to push in the back end so it snaps into place. Just like that. And now you can slide it back and forth wherever you need it. So it looks like we're gonna have it right about there when it's not in use. The final thing to check is make sure our strikers latch in the rails like they're supposed to. So we're gonna lower this down. Looks good. We're going to do that for each of the section. Looks good there. Then finally, it's all latched into place. And with that, our installation is complete. So overall, wasn't too bad to get that installed. I like the hard tri-fold tunnel covers, plenty of options. So if you need your full bed space, you can fold it up against that back cab and still use the bed of your truck. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped.